Hi and hello everyone, most especially to our dear Professor Dr. Manuel Roman. I'm Alan B. Tagbo, your reporter for today for the subject EM216, Personal Management and Development. I will discuss to you the three main topics. First, I will refer to what is personal management. Second, elements of personal management. And the third is the role of personal managers. What is personal management? Personal management, also known as human resource management or HRM, involves the planning, organizing, directing, and controlling of an organization's workforce. It encompasses activities such as recruitment, hiring, training performance management, employee relations, and compensation and benefits administration. And now I will discuss the elements of personnel management. There are two subtopics here. Letter A is the three basic elements, namely organization, job, and people. Organization is a place when all the selected people for their appointed job will work together. Number two is job. It is necessary to appoint job to the member of an organization to efficiently achieve the desired goal. The manager will appoint the employees to different categories of jobs based on their skills and experience. The number three is people. With different or the same skills as desired by the jobs are the most important element of personal management. The presence of both mechanical and intellectual manpowers is necessary for the smooth running of organization. And now let's go to the other elements of personal management. Number one is job analysis. It determines how a position fits into the overall company framework. It measures on the road and not the employee. Number two is the strategic personal planning. It involves hiring of the most qualified individual to fit a necessary role in an organization. And number three is performance appraisals. Using this element, professionals in personal management decide how often employees are assessed and the methods used to rate employee performance. The number four, benefit coordination, determining the type of benefits employees receive and planning for their distribution is an essential part of personal management. The number five is the continuing education. This may include offering of seminars, learning lunches, or attending professional conferences. The number six is pay and salary distribution. To ensure employee payroll functions correctly. The number seven, attendance and leave. Managing personal also means overseeing time off for sick and personal days. Now I will go to the three types of personal management. Number one is strategic personal management. It focuses on an organization's current and future staffing needs. Number two is the tactical personal management. It developing the HR resources and using them to plan staffing processes. The number three is the operational personnel management. It focuses on maintaining HR support functions. Now let's go to the other functions of personal management based on this picture. Personal management, two functions, managing functions, and operation functions. Under the managing functions, number one is planning. Number two is organizing, number three is directing, number four is motivating, and number five is controlling. Under the operation functions, number one is procurement of personnel, number two is development of personnel, the number two is compensation of personnel, number four is integration, the number five is the maintenance. Let's go to the role of a personal manager also known as HRM, Human Resource Manager, is vital within an organization. Here are some key functions and roles typically associated with personal manager. Number one is the recruitment and selection. Personal managers are responsible for attracting, recruiting, and selecting qualified candidates for job opening within the organization. 
Number two, employee relations. They play a crucial role in maintaining positive relationships between employees and the organization. Third, training and development. Number three is training and development. Personal manager oversee employees' training and development programs to enhance skills and competences within the workplace. The number four, performance management. To evaluate employees' performance, provide feedback, and set goals for improvement. The number five is compensation and benefits. Includes salary levels, administering employees' benefits such as health care and retirement plans, and ensuring compliance with labor laws and regulations. So that's all my report for today, and thank you for watching and listening to me. So bye for now. Thank you.